Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take these wooden Halloween signs that I got from a recent Michaels haul and we're going to transform them into these really cute farmhouse signs. So let's get started. So as you saw in the beginning, I had have, I sanded them down just a little bit because they were shiny on the top and I wanted the paint to stick really well. So I sanded them down on the sides and on the top just a little and used my black chalk paint to cover it over uh, front and sides. And now I'm doing the back, I want these totally covered. I don't want to be able to see any of the orange from the Halloween sign whatsoever. I'm giving these three signs a second coat. That orange, I don't want to come through at all. I'm not going to be sanding this at all. I'm going to give it a different distressed look, which I really think came out nicely. So I'm going to just give these a nice second coat and get them dried and hope that that is going to be enough to keep that orange from coming through altogether. Now I have these stencils that I got from Michaels and I love this Fresh Market Local Goods and I've used it quite a bit as you can see. So I'm doing the local goods in the very middle of this sign on this one and I'm getting it just where I want it in the middle and then I'm going to go down and tape it to keep it from as I'm putting the paint on to keep the paint from getting anywhere else on my sign. They're very close together and I want to just make sure that I don't have it bleed over into something else. I'm going in with my Waverly White chalk paint and going to put the paint all over where the words are that I want to put down on my sign. Now I didn't do any measuring on where to put this, I just eyeballed it and hope that it came out. If not, I would have painted it over or sanded it off and started over again. So there's no, no problem there. And there we go. I like how it's distressed. I didn't go totally over it really thickly, so I want it to be distressed a little bit. I'm gonna take this little dairy stencil that's on the same stencil as the local goods and I'm going to put that over the top. And I didn't bother taping that one off because it was big enough so that I could get it on there. There we go. So I have the dairy and the local goods on there and I'm just giving it a little bit of a dry before I go to the next step because I didn't want to smudge it. And so now I'm doing the eggs. So it's going to say local goods, dairy, eggs on it and I think this sign came out really really cute I really like it I like the distressed look so cute so I dried it just a little bit so that I could handle it without smudging anything and I took my paint paintbrush with a little bit of white paint on it and went around the edges. This has like a raised edge on the inside and also around the outside of the sign. So I wanted to highlight those and just took a little bit of the white and went along the edges, almost like a reversed enamel uh, look on it. So I think this gave it the distressed look that I wanted and it's su super cute, I love it. Once all these signs were dry, I put two coats of my spray sealer on. All right, on to the second sign. Now I'm starting off again with the dairy and giving that a quick little stencil of white paint and drying that a little bit. 
and then I'm going to go down at the bottom. I know this looks the same as the other one, but it is different. And this one is uh, the stencil of eggs, so we're going to put the eggs on the bottom. with a totally altogether different stencil that is not in the same pack and I really like the bumblebee that's on there and I wanted to incorporate that onto this sign so I put one on either side of the sign and I think they came out cute I love the bumblebee and then there was a dot on the other one and then I decided to put that dot right in the middle so it's kind of like dairy, eggs, and maybe honey, since I didn't have a honey sign. And of course I gave it the same uh, white around the edges treatment as the other one, and I think it came out really cool. This one I did the local goods market with the bee down at the bottom and then I did another local goods market with just a black and white checked tie or a bow tie uh, down at the bottom. I thought that would be a cute touch. So then this one I didn't show on video but it is a home sign made out of the same uh, wooden Halloween signs. I believe that one was black though um, and it said a little something different. Um, but I painted it with the white chalk paint and then I used the ivy uh, stencil that I had in the green and then of course used a home sign that I had of a stencil with the heart and put that on top in the black and that was all with chalk paint and then I put the kind of like a tan and green little bow on it on the top and I thought that one came out really cute as well. So there's five signs made out of some signs that Halloween signs that I got from Michaels and I repurposed them into these really cute farmhouse signs. I really love them. These all are live up on my Etsy sock shop right now so if you're interested go down in the description and find the link and you can click on it to get there. So thanks for watching guys. I will leave a card here at the end if you missed that haul to Michael's. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.